Hey, Zidorag here with the final stop on my review series of the Aerial Bots. Sort of. But, either way, here, here we have all six Aerial Bots together. Although you can't really see Slingshot. And ready to form Superion. So, you've seen all the individual transformations, so we'll just start going on. I'll start with Power Glide since he's the easiest. Just take him from jet mode, angle his legs down a little bit so you can fold out this scope. Bring up the wings and these tabs will go into those same slots as for robot mode. They just stay like that. Bring down the tail wings, extend the thrusters back, and there you have Power Glide in his gun mode, if I can keep his legs straight. <clears throat> Next, we will work on Superion's legs. Quick Slinger, or Slingshot as he should be known, and Firefly, or Fire Flight. I just realized that he has two different shades of red on him. Doesn't show up in person, but on camera it's rather obvious. Weird. Anyway, just take the landing gear, fold it up. Bring the nose cone back. Turn the head around. Get the legs out of the way a little bit. And bring the combiner joint up. Why are... And just get everything back in place. Fold up that. Just make sure everything's smooshed together. Fold in the main wings. Bring the tail wings down as far as they'll go. Fold this up. <coughs> and then... <coughs> Pardon me. And then take his hand foot gun. Fold out the heel. This post goes into this port. And there you have one leg. And it's exactly the same transformation for Slingshot. Bring this back. Pop his legs out a little bit. Turn his head around. Bring the combiner joint out. Pop all that back. Fold this in. Fold that up. Up, up, and then take his hand foot gun, fold out the heel, pop this post into that port, and there you have both of the legs. Let's go ahead and get them out of the way. Now we'll work on the arms, starting with air raid. Bring the wings forward, and bring them up like this. Fold the tail wings to the side. Bring out the arms. Rotate the forearms back. Fold them. And there are slots here that will go on to tabs there. They just sort of sit there. They don't actually secure there. It's more of a suggestion than an actual locking point. Undo the legs and straighten them out. And those tabs go onto those slots. Get the nose cone assembly out of the way. Bring the combiner joint out. And then just put these tabs into those slots. Got to make sure everything lines up properly. Rotate the forearm forward. And then take his hand foot gun. Bring out the fingers. Bring out the thumb. Bring down the palm. Get the thumb into position. And then this post goes into that port. Here you have the right arm. 
and it's mostly the same for uh, Skydive. For some reason, I have a whole lot of trouble with the aerial bots' names, but it's mostly the same for Skydive, but it is a bit different. Take the tail wings and flatten them against the elevators while I claw the camera. Just get the arms out a bit. Take all this and bring it up. Open up the legs and fold them out and down. And then, again, those tabs go into those slots. Rotate the waist forward. Bring back the nose cone. Bring out the combiner joint. And then these tabs go into those slots. Ideally. Bring the wings back. And then take the arms Turn the shoulders so that they so that this open portion faces the back. Then rotate the elbow so they bend this way and just collapse all this up. And then these slots will go onto those tabs. Now, unlike Air Ray, these actually do secure in place quite nicely. It's just that with Air Raid, his just don't. Although it helps if you get them lined up. And then of course, just attach the hand foot gun, fold out the fingers, fold down the palm, get the thumb position, and put the post into the port. Almost done. Next we have Silverbolt himself. So, start things off, just fold this to whatever side you want, fold up the landing gear, bring the nose cone back, Take the wings, and then these slots here will go over the wings to hold those in place. Take the arms, rotate them down, have them just pointing straight like that, fold back the hands. So again, get the arms out of there, bring them down, straighten them out and you want the orange parts facing forward before folding back the hands. Now, one of the more difficult parts, getting Superion's head out of there. Can sometimes be a challenge, but it is doable. Okay, I had to resort to using tools, but I got it open, so just bring this up. Fold this back, and then there's a little tab that sticks out here that will go into that slot right there. I want to bring the antlers up first, or horns, or whatever they are. That just lines up like that. Just try and get these horns as straight as you can. I don't know why they're made of a rubbery plastic. It makes them a bit of a pain in the ass to deal with, but whatever. Take this panel on the torso and bring it yep, out of the way and bring it up just fill in that gap a little bit and then take these red and white panels fold them in and they will overlap and create the superior chest piece and then just bring these black panels down to open the combiner ports And there you have the torso of Superion ready. So let's just go ahead and get to combining. First thing you do, take the legs, the combiner port just slides in. This little spring-loaded panel will get out of the way and keep things locked in. There's one leg. There's the second leg. Need to bring this up a little bit more. Okay, that should be readjusted a little better. Anyway, just take the right arm and 
take this notched peg and just drop it down in there. And then drop the other one into the other side. And of course we have the last part to add. Superion's weapon, Power Glide. The landing gear acts as a post. And you just put this into the joint on his hand. If I can actually get it on camera. And there you have Combiner Wars Superion. Boy, he is big. I have to be standing for the rest of this, so that's fun. <clears throat> anyway, as you can see, Superion has a rather eclectic mix of colors. Although they are somewhat unified in the fact that they all have the same shade of red somewhere. His posability is pretty good. The head is on a swivel. Can't quite go all the way around, but it does what it needs to. The arms can go out to the side as far as they need to. They can go all the way around at the shoulder. There is a swivel at, uh, at the elbow, and it bends at two joints in the elbow for a bend about that far. Hand can swivel. Nothing at the waist, just due to how he transforms. Legs can go forward that far, back that far, out to the side that far, and there is a swivel just below the hip. And legs can bend that far at one joint in the knee, and there is a swivel at the foot. Oh, just smacked into the microphone. So his posability isn't superb, but it gets the job done. Now, of course, he does have a weapon besides Power Glide. You can take Superion's two weapons, his shield and his rifle, and there is a port in the back of the rifle and a post on the shield. Just plug those together, and you have Superion's standard rifle. And you can just plug that into either hand. There's two ports there, just get this one plugged in. There you go. And if you want to be really freaky about it, there is actually a port on top of that weapon. Let me angle the camera down a little bit. There's actually a port on top of the rifle that you can plug Power Glide into. So you can get a really big, really nasty super rifle. One problem though, neither of the arms have joints strong enough to hold it up. So, nine times out of ten, I usually end up putting the weapons in separate hands. Because of that, and because I like my combiners wielding two weapons, when possible. And these little rubber horns won't stay in place. But, there you have Combiner Wars Superion. Oh, one thing I forgot to show you. His size compared to a soda can. He is, of course, very, very large. I like to think that this is what the old Supreme class was before it got outdated into the Titan class. But, either way, this has been my review of Superion after the reviews of all the aerial bots. So, until next time, bye bye